Hello again, it's Priscilla Badzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery, and I'm back. This is part two. This dried overnight, and it it's lackluster to me. It does not have all of the components that I would like it to have. So I'm going to take some of my favorite colors and some more mead and paint and some more gold and see what I can do. Starting with whatever seems like a good idea to me right down at the bottom, which is almost always <laughs> purple flash from folk art. And we'll see where it leads me. I'm going to use some of the black meaden, which is my regular recipe. With a little bit of distilled water. I mean a little bit. I mean 2% is pushing it. And what else? I know that I wanted some turquoise. I'm very tempted by the chrysocolla. That is a prism pour from Color Art. Now, I don't usually do a part two on a swipe, but it's happened a couple times recently, and I really enjoyed the results I got. And I am thinking that I want some blue. But I also want... more gold. And even though I want blue, I probably also want turquoise. And my turquoise is right here and a little plugged, but I think I can get that open fairly quickly. Or not. Why don't I just grab some brighter turquoise? Really? Because it's similar to that? No, I'm opening the turquoise and cleaning the tip out. Because it won't take me but a heartbeat. There we go, it was fa really fast. Pull those threads out when you're doing, when you're cleaning your bottle top. So I'm making a wiggly line, assuming that as I swipe, I would probably prefer not to have hard lines. And if I'm done with, if this first side works out nicely, I'm probably going to move on to the other side. So don't be shocked by that. So I'm just going to grab one of my small cards. And I'm going to take the pressure off. I want to, I want to flip it to the other side. And I want to push that paint down over the edge too. If I've got paint on my card, I'm going to assume that I can use it up. I'm going to lose a lot of what I liked, but I didn't like it so much that I'm worried about it anymore. I'm going to try and get that tip to operate for me. Even if I have to use the edge of the card to get what I want. Which is not a bad thing, actually. I like leading things up through. But it does make me want some of the emerald green from Folk Art that's color shifting. If I can lay my hands on it quickly. No, I've got the turquoise though. Okay, so <laughs> I know you're here. Show yourself. Emerald green. There you are. Cool. And maybe I should have shaken that, but I didn't.
trying to change sides. I'm not sure if it's important or not. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use some of the hot orchid on the other side and I'm gonna use some Anita's white metallic because I really want to brighten up what I see. I'm not sure this is the most adept I've ever been at spreading paint. But I know I'm going to get some pretty colors, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. And it could tip. Just going to drag those little bits of green right down through. Push it down. Use my residuals if I can get them to release off the card. If I can't, <laughs> just deal with it. I've got some nice gold showing at the bottom. I don't have many cells because I didn't use a lot of black meat, and I'm going to learn. I will. I don't mind running my card right back and through back through, letting the colors sort of mix and meld together a little bit. I'm liking that already better than I did. I'll let this paint go down. And as I break it up with the edge of the card, I expose more colors. So, I'm not unhappy with that. I'm actually fairly pleased. I could do a little quick a quick torch and see if we pop any cells. I could also put some more turquoise in between everything if I really like it and I really like it. I don't think I get nearly enough of that turquoise. So let's just indulge my whims, knowing that I'll probably come right back through there again. It's not coming out very cleanly, but it looks pretty organic because of it. Now, even though I'm upside down, let's see if I have a nice little card here somewhere. Maybe I'll just keep using the card I've been using. Just touching that line. In some cases a little slightly more than that. But I love the turquoise. I love that color combination, period. Okay, so now, now this time I want some white Anita's metallic and more Meaden than I had. And the hot orchid from Color Art. I kind of want to pull down. I really wanted some blue in there. I forgot about that. <laughs> Let me grab a new swipe card. I'm going to pull down first. And I'm already melt mixing too much of the paint together, so I'm going to scrape that card off. But I am getting some cells. And I can always use that paint to cover the edges and the sides. I 
Now I'm really tempted to just run my card right through that in a sort of an arcing motion back and forth. That way I get to keep some of the background color as well as not destroy all of the... I don't want to make the hot orchid disappear. And they have a few nice little cells because of the maiden or whatever. Black and white often sells together anyway. I am still not happy. Oh well. And I'm going to use the maiden white this time. And hope I can get away with this. I've wanted blue forever and I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm a little frustrated if you can tell. That's just a little bit of golden iridescent pearl fine laden quinacridone magenta. Now I have another card and I think it's time to just pull out the big guns. I want black there now. Okay, whatever. And how about some green over here since we're in for a penny, in for a pound. I may go back from the other direction. I'm inclined to put some orange down there right now. I am going to go back from the other direction. It's getting better. I'm just not sure it's there yet. But it's a good experiment. I've always wanted to do multiple layers of swipes and see what happens. Let me grab one of my, there we go. I keep cutting these acetate cards with points or rounded ends. Scraping off my residuals. Don't want to make all my cool stuff disappear. Permission to go overboard. a very random stroke on this too. I'm trying to leave a lot of the stuff that I liked behind. And break up my hard lines whenever possible. I'm not sure about the green with the orange, but a little bit of it won't hurt anything I guess.
when I see a color I like and I don't want to waste it, I use it. And so long as you're not rubbing terribly hard, I'm pretty sure you can get away with it. Just going to pull down in between anywhere I see a hard line. Got rid of most of the first painting. But this one is at least brighter, I think. My tendency is to want to put some white in at the bottom over here. But truly, yeah. I like the hot orchid better than I like anything else in this. So I'm just going to lead some strands through and maybe a couple dots, even if they're by accident. They might be on purpose. That's how they happen to begin with. Once you have a few, you want more, <laughs> or at least I do. wonder how many times I can swipe without getting myself completely mucked, mucked right out. This orange is not making me as happy as I thought it was going to make me. Wow, I used up all my time messing around. So I've got two minutes to tell you guys, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Which at this point is a little... I'm going to put... Some dioxazine, dioxazine purple. Right in there. More than once, evidently. <laughs> Until I like what I have. And I kind of want some green down here, strangely enough. And I'm probably going to run a skewer, not a skewer, I'm going to probably run, although I could, I'm going to probably run a uh, spatula right up through there. Because that usually saves the cells. And I'm really only trying to get rid of some of the bulby little piles of paint. So I love you guys. There's over 91,000 of you. I don't give up easily, you can tell. <laughs> I'm going to have what I want. As I, I, My theory is as long as the colors are beautiful, you should be all set. Just don't give up. As long as you don't make them into mud pies. Which happens once in a while if I swipe. That's why I'm not swiping anymore. That's why I'm using the, the spatula. I like that little bit of green at the bottom. This is actually pretty. And it was worth getting it that way. I'm going to probably throw a few more dots. i got one minute left to tell you guys I have a monthly drawing. And if you want to help support the studio, uh, using PayPal or Patreon to make a donation to help produ produce videos is an assistance to me. It helps me buy more art supplies. I'm going to throw a little bit of gold in there. Because I can, the name of my first book next to my second book on the Amazon link under the link tree under the video. Anyway, you can see the prizes on the exhibition video on the end screens of any video in the last 20 seconds. I prefer PayPal and you can find the icon on my YouTube channel banner on the bottom right hand corner on the link tree where everything else is also. I'm not sure about the gold right now, maybe more, <laughs> I think more. They could become spirals, but I don't think they're going to. kind of want to put some black up there too, but I kind of like it now. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint. Tell you guys I love you, and uh, I will see you anon, because you'll be gone if you're not already. <laughs>